Hello and welcome to my first ever, I want to say studio vlog, but it's not. It is my first ever video, ever. <laughs> it just happens to also be a studio vlog. My name is Ella May. You know me as Ella May's sketchbook on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, then I don't know how you found this. <laughs> um, this video is my summer shop update. So I filmed that six months ago. It is now December. <laughs> You're about to watch the process of my shop update that I did this summer. So yeah, it has taken me this long to edit it and get it out there. And that's okay. I have to be forgiving of myself. I, I have filmed this on my phone. I'm filming on my phone and I'm working with a computer that like doesn't even let me play Netflix sometimes. <laughs> like I am not cut out for this at all, but I'm doing my best. I set myself the almost impossible challenge of filming a studio vlog that is half an hour long. Hopefully it's half an hour long as my first video. And that is really difficult. And like such a challenge, like as a total beginner, I filmed it in June and was like, this is a great idea. I'm gonna film my shop update process. Wonderful, that is still like a great idea. And then it actually happened and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to edit. I don't even know, like, I don't know what I'm doing. And now I'm here six months later, finally editing it. So, so yeah, please enjoy. I mean, you can't actually tell what you're looking at right now, so I'm gonna put it together and then ink it. But it, I mean, it looks quite. And this is the thing, they give me so much ink. Like, my stamp is, my stamp is tiny. what I've stamped and it's like a little bit blurry on the bottom so I'll try again on this paper oh my god I definitely shook that time obviously I can't just stamp a stamp without thinking it oh that's beautiful So, I just stamped all of these with my new stamp um, and it's bothering me slightly because on my thank you cards that I have, the logo on the back is a frog um, and now I've gone for a daisy. So they're different, which is a little bit irritating, but obviously I couldn't, I couldn't have this on the stamp because the stamp has to be like like a line art and this is a painting so I don't know maybe it won't bother people as much as it's bothering me but I just hope that like people understand that this is the same person <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Let me show you what I just bought. I wear these pants for like maybe forever. And I found them both today when I went out from oh my god, I just went upstairs. From um B and Q. I'm literally ecstatic. I'm so happy. I got a fern um, and I got a mini monstera, I think. Mini Swiss cheese. I don't care. I wanted it. Today's a good day. You saw me paint this cow painting um, in a clip a few minutes ago, I think, hopefully. If I can edit it all right, you will have seen it. Um, I made that into this sticker now and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So that's one product for my update so far ready and sorted. So I have 32 of these pigeon stickers that I've misprinted in the wrong colour. I have them printed in the right colour now. But I have 32 of these, so I'm going to just sell these at a slightly cheaper price to these ones. You can kind of tell if I put them together that they're, they're different colours. Like, the quality is still really good, they're just slightly more pink than I wanted them. So they'll both be in my update, one will be cheaper than the other, and I'll just make it clear which one is correct and which one is slightly more imperfect. So that's another sticker that I have ready to go. And if you remember my goose sticker that I had from my shop launch, this was maybe the favourite sticker by you guys and myself. It's, um, I had it on my own sketchbook. I just love it so much. Um, I, hold on a second. I painted the goose, some baby geese to go with it, if you can, if you can see. Um, and I wanted to make those into a little, a little six pack baby goose sticker pack and I printed them out, let me just show you. I printed them out so close together, like I have no idea how I'm gonna cut these out without like hurting my wrist. But today my plan is to cut out all of these. So I made a fruity Prints. This is just from like random fruits that I've drawn in random pages on my sketchbook that I've put together and made into a print and then um, sticker packs. One's small and one's bigger. You can kind of see on these sheets that I have the bigger versions of the little stickers because I know that my followers have like preferences. So some like big stickers, some like small stickers. So I thought I'd offer these in two different sizes because I just love them so much. But I wanted to make sure that everyone who wanted them could get them in the size that they prefer.
Hello, good morning. Please excuse my lack of makeup today. I simply didn't feel like wearing any. I hope you understand. Today I didn't plan on leaving the house, so, or filming actually, but here we are. Um, I cut out my stickers yesterday, as you hopefully watched. If you didn't, fair enough. I don't blame you. It looked pretty dull, but I had a really good time doing it. I watched some studio vlogs from um, other small businesses just as like research. And there's a bit of company while I cut them all out. Um, I have about 20 packs of these bigger ones now. Um, and about 10 of the smaller version. So I don't think I'm going to need to cut any more out for a while. Because I don't think I'm going to sell that many. But today I'm going to package them up. Like sort them into sets of six. And package them. My like envelopes and bags and stuff arrived this morning. Which is why I'm recording. And also my stuff from printed arrived today, which was like my bookmark and my cards. So that got here like maybe in three days. I ordered them on Thursday and today it's Monday. So that's really speedy. I hope that they turn out okay. I haven't looked at them yet. So I'm gonna look at those with you now and then package my sticker packs in the envelopes. Hopefully the envelopes are okay, not the envelopes. The glacing bags hopefully they're okay hopefully they're gonna fit and look honed look hello this is present day me attempting my first ever voiceover um i just thought that that's what this clip needed so you knew what was going on i'm opening up my envelopes i thought i ordered glacing bags i didn't i got compostable plastic bags it's my own fault <laughs> It isn't what I wanted at all, really, um, but my stickers still fit, so that's cool. But I couldn't then package the stickers and send them off this way because when, like, the six stickers were stacked together, it was too thick for it to be classed as sticker letter mail. So that was a big whooping fail, and I have definitely learned from that mistake. I was super duper nervous because I had never outsourced a product from my shop before, and that's what these bookmarks were. I still have these bookmarks in my shop because I had to order so many for it to be worth the price of them. So if you want to get one, you still can. That's maybe the only thing I still sell. Um, oh, and the cards. I still have those, but I've not shown those yet. These are the cards. Um, I ordered extra envelopes so that I could sell the cards with an envelope. They're glossy. They're plain in size, so you can have them for literally any occasion. That was the plan anyway so that I wasn't like restricted to just like birthdays or something. Um, so you can actually still get these, I have a couple left still because again I had to buy so many of them for it to be worth it. I super duper love these but I haven't actually outsourced anything since because it is such an expense and I didn't sell as many as I wanted to so I didn't actually make my money back. So you know this was all just a learning curve and I'm glad that I did it because it was nice to have, like, products in my shop that were a little bit different. Did this cow print. I like how this turned out and I'm really happy with it. Um, this is in the A5 size. It's not quite A5. Obviously, there's a bit of a border, but that's because I can't make the print bigger than the drawing itself, and my drawing itself is an A5 size, so that's why I've got a border. It's my A5 print, and then this is an A6 print. I really like how this turned out. I think I'm going to keep one for myself and put it on my wall, because I do really, really like this one. Um, again, it's got a border on it there's nothing that I could do I couldn't I mean I could make it borderless but the print would then not be a six size so that's what I've gone with I think I've already showed the fruit print one but this is going to go in the listing with the fruit stickers so that you can get the print or the stickers all both together and I have this a six print as well which is my doodle cow that I did in my doodle morning sketchbook and this was really popular on Instagram and I really love it so that's why this one's a print and I kept the swatch colours just because I thought that like it added a little bit of extra interest and so that you can tell that it was a sketchbook spread. 
so those are my main products that i've done now i might make a couple more prints i might make a couple more stickers we'll see how i feel Hello, this is present day me back again. This video never had an official outro so I'm just gonna talk to you instead because why not just watch me pack some orders instead? I filmed myself packing every single order that I got this update so if you did order from me this summer your order will be here in this video somewhere. <laughs> if you can watch it it's like super speeded, 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 sped up. As you can see, I used to handwrite all my thank you notes. I can't believe I used to do that, but I did. Um, pretty much everything in this video is now irrelevant because I've got new thank you cards and I now have a custom tissue paper, but it's cool to see like the process of it. Like Looking back, I'm like, wow, <laughs> that is a lot of orders that you got through. So thank you if you did order from me, that means the world. Um, and thank you for watching this video. You are helping me to continue on my little art journey that I have going on. I understand that you might not have the finances to be able to afford to buy from me, but if you have the time to watch this video, that's awesome. Hopefully my next video won't be such a challenge because I've got this experience. So I'm hoping that it won't take me another six months to get another video out there. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and putting your time into watching this video even if you just like sat and did something else that's so cool that you're even here please subscribe if you can like the video um you rock bye bye